um, meditation and mindfulness can really help someone in general, but I'd say athletes specifically given what their day to day and what their, what their weeks are like. So specifically if we're talking about body and um, just all of the, the pressure that athletes bodies are under because of their sport, um, because of their activities, because of their training, using mindfulness and meditation programs, um, they'll be able to actually tune into their bodies more, practicing more body awareness. So that means that they'll be able to navigate what actually feels good for them, what's appropriate for their body or what's healthy for their body. Um, this is really useful in preventing injuries. So I know that lots and lots of people are going to the hospital, even the ER because of sports related injuries. And having this bodily awareness through mindfulness and meditation will allow an athlete to really know, okay, wait, I'm at a point where I need to back off or I'm going to hurt myself, injure myself, push myself too far. So that's one huge benefit for athletes specifically. Um, another thing that's really big is if you play um, a team sport, um, when you practice mindfulness, even if the other team members aren't practicing mindfulness, um, there's an increase in, we would say, like team related skills, um, emotional relating skills. Um, including empathy, peacemaking, negotiation, and things like that. So you're really increasing, boosting your ability to relate to other people. And clearly that's going to be really important when you play a team sport. Yeah. <laughs>